So, uh, spell my name, Kim, K-I-M, CAP, K-A-P-P, Vancouver Police Department. Uh, so about uh, 10 after 2 this afternoon, we responded to shots fired at the Smith Tower apartment complex in downtown Vancouver at 6th and Washington. Uh, early reports were that there were multiple uh, victims that had been hit. Uh, we have confirmed that we have located three victims. I do not have information on their condition or any other information on them. Uh, we have identified a uh, potential suspect. Uh, he is a resident of the apartment complex and we have been in verbal com communication with him through crisis negotiators uh, for some time now uh, in an attempt to get him to peacefully surrender. So at this point, we have uh, some residents that have been evacuated uh, from various apartments in the building. Uh, we have others that are sheltering in place. And at this point, uh, we are um, just working on a peaceful resolution with the suspect. Uh, and then we will have information about family reunification locations uh, once we have those established and everybody can safely leave the building. Is this guy held up inside his apartment or someone else's? Is there a hostage? There is no hostage information that we have at this point. It appears he is inside his residence. Did this happen in the lobby of the building? Yeah, shots fired uh, were in the lobby. What's the status of the three people who were injured? I don't have their, their current condition at this point. Any okay. idea why this happened or just too early to tell? Is there a dispute here? Or? Yeah, there's no information related to the, what happened, what, what precipitated the shooting. What else can you tell us about area? the suspect? Uh, the closure area is, is several blocks downtown, so uh, in the area of around 4th to 6th, uh, Maine to uh, Washington. Those are kind of the main areas to avoid, but there's a lot of police activity down here. We have multiple agencies assisting us, and so there is quite a few uh, vehicles in the area, so we're asking the public to avoid the area, and certainly if they're driving in the area, they may be detoured. What else can you tell us about the suspect? Can you repeat a little bit of the information about who's been identified? I don't have any information related to him that we are releasing at this time. But he is can a resident? Yes. And he's in his apartment currently? That's our understanding, yes. Can there reports that uh, one person has passed away? Can you we cannot confirm that at this time. I don't have the conditions of any of the victims. We have identified three victims at this point. Certainly as we start to uh, resolve the, the incident, we will uh, do a, a full uh, search of the building, make sure that everyone is accounted for. So we have a, are working with the managers of the building at this point to identify who the residents are. You, you have said officers there have in the building. Evacuations. We do. Is it based on the floor or how many floors have been evacuated? How many apartments do you know? I don't know the number of floors that were evacuated. I just know that there were some uh, residents that were evacuated and, and sheltered in an, an another place, in the, a safer place in the building. Uh, and then we are working on uh, other residents are sheltering in place in their apartments. We are working on uh, a family reunification plan for those residents as the investigation continues. They may have some delays on returning to their apartments. Do we know if the three victims are also residents here? I don't know that. No. And this is a unique building. What kind of problems does this pose for uh, law enforcement? I mean, we uh, fortunately have a great uh, relationship uh, established with the, um, the apartment management, so we were able to uh, quickly get some schematics of the building, and they were very helpful in providing uh, information to us. So it is uh, challenging when you have a multi-story building because obviously sometimes elevator usage is not uh, what we're, we're doing, so there is some access issues that we have to be for our safety and for the other residents. Uh, we have to keep that in mind. Are the negotiations going on in person outside the door or by phones from somewhere else? Uh, we have officers in the building and we are also doing uh, over the telephone negotiation as well. We have verbal communication going on with the, the suspect. Any idea how many guns this uh, person may be armed with? No. I see some residents are still in their building. Are they in lockdown up there? Uh, yes, we've asked everyone to shelter in place, so yes, and we have uh, multiple officers in the building uh, securing floors so that uh, residents aren't able to uh, leave and, and their safety is maintained as, as much as we can. Do we have how many people are inside right now? We don't at this point. We'll, we'll, we will make some, some assessments of that once we have a full, uh, res the incident is resolved and we have a, a, the opportunity to do uh, a full resident count. Is there any concern that he could shoot outside the building relative to the way the windows are set up? Certainly, this is an active shooter situation, so we are very being very cautious with cordoning off the area in the area that we feel that is safest for the public and not letting members of the public in areas where there could potentially be some safety concerns. Who's assisting? I saw Homeland Security racing in the scene. Obviously, you guys, uh, I assume Clark County Sheriff as well? Yes, I think I see the Sheriff's Office here, uh, Washington State Patrol.
Patrol is here to assist, and Portland Police is also here to assist. We have lots of regional partners that have come out uh, because it is a, an unusual situation and certainly something that we want to make sure that uh, we maintain the safety of. Uh, How did the call come in initially? As shots fired. From inside the building? Yes. Is that your guys' drone? the back side of the building, is that why we're here? Uh, I don't know the exact location of where the suspect is. I just know that we have cordoned off areas where there could be potential uh, safety concerns for the public. And this is the Smith Tower lobby? Yes, that's our understanding. That's what uh, witnesses reported, and that's how it came into us. And was it one person shot? Uh, multi uh, three people uh, have been, uh, are victims of, that, that have been shot. Smith Towers, is that what it's called? Smith Towers. So I'll be releasing some additional information as soon as it becomes available. That's really all I have at this point. Uh, I will be putting out a media release with more comprehensive information once we have all of the details. And then uh, I'll touch base with you as soon as we have uh, anything updated. Okay. Thank you. That was Kim Cap with Vancouver Police Department. I don't believe it.